Hi guys, welcome back. So today we are going to learn about the services in BLE. So we are going to see what are the services and uh, the profiles are just the specifications while the service is the place where we put our data together and the service is the second part which we need to understand about. So let's get started. What is a service in BLE? So before in the previous tutorial we have seen that uh, there was a profile and profile is the application logic that uh, we have seen before and uh, there are some standardized profile and there are custom profiles as well so custom are the profiles that we make and the standard ones are the ones that SIG uh, has already uh, made and uh, they have put all the specifications on their website so what is a service itself so a service is a collection of characteristics so what are characteristics we will see that so first thing is characteristics are basically the data points uh, I will discuss them uh, in simple terms I will say these are the data points where we are going to put our data and a service is collection of these and a service behavior is exposed through these characteristics for example we have a shop and uh, the shop is about the mobile phone devices uh, the services in simple terms are simple services that the shop provides us uh, the shop might have different services for example they might give us the repairing service they might have some new and old devices this could be a second service and uh, up to so on they might have uh, some uh, accessories re related to mobile phones so inside a profile we have our services and if we have a standard profile and then the standard services to include are mentioned in the standard profile so as we have seen in the previous tutorial these are the standard profile specification documents and uh, we are going to discuss about this uh, later so each service is a group of characteristics which can be accessed through this service so these are the group of characteristic profiles are defined behaviors of the application but actually we code the services to expose these behaviors uh, to the connecting devices for example if my device is transmitting some data for example the heart rate that heart rate is going to be the characteristic number one of my service heart rate service and the second could be uh, the point where uh, the uh, sensor is located on the body body location that could be my second characteristic could be the body sensor uh, sensors uh, location on the body and uh, these are different characteristics so for example heart rate uh, for example if I have the data like 72 uh, beats per minute uh, so these are this would be my first characteristic data and it would be transmitted on whatever I have in the characteristic it would be transmitted to the master device and similarly we have different characteristics so that is the thing the service has a group of characteristic and each service the standard service has a 16 bit uh, 16 uh, bytes of uh, UUID and the 16 byte means 128 bits of an ID and this universally unique identifier or the UUID is basically the address of the service so we can access the service through these addresses so there are two types of services that are defined as two categories the first one are the standardized services and the second one are the custom services uh, so what are the standard services let's see them in the next slide the services which are specified by the group which manages the Bluetooth protocol called SIG are called the standard services and these services behaviors are predefined in the specifications uh, for implementing different applications using these standard services so we will see that later after we finish discussing about the services then we are going to uh, check standard service specification documents so for example we have heart rate service which describes everything including what types of characteristics this service will hold like what 
type of characteristics would be there in the service that I have previously mentioned might be the heart rate, the body sensor location, and so and so on. And what are the data types? Uh, what would be the data types of these uh, uh, characteristics? Uh, for example, they could be unsigned integer 8 type or 16 or integer types or whatever. And what would be, what would be the security level uh, to access these uh, characteristics? For example, uh, some of the data that you want uh, the user to access uh, should be secure so nobody else can see this data. Then you can use some security. We will see that later on. There are other standard services uh, as uh, well, like DIS, which is uh, Device Information Service, BAS, which is the Battery Level Service, and then uh, we have uh, HIDS, which is Human Interface Device Service, SRP, which is Serial Port Service, and then HTS, which is Health Thermometer Service. So don't get confused with the services and the profile specifications. They are different things. The profile specifies everything while the service specification specifies uh, what are the properties of this service. So there are many standard services, uh, service specifications which uh, can be downloaded uh, through from the Bluetooth official website and uh, from this link. So why we use the standard services? Services have a UUID through which we can access them. It's like an address as I have mentioned before, but the UUID is 16 bytes which is 128 bits long. So if we are regularly communicating with the devices and access them and access, we are accessing them then we have to transmit the UUID of the service and uh, it will take so many precious bytes of data uh, which in long term would add extra overhead or excessive data transmission which is not efficient at all. Uh, so in order to keep a low profile on excessive data transmission, SIG came up with a standard service UUID, which is just 4 bytes, and it's not 128 bits, it's just 16 bits or 4 bytes. And remaining bytes will be assembled by the receiving device, which in this case uh, would be the cl uh, client or the master device. These UUIDs are predefined, so by knowing these few bytes, uh, the device can assemble the remaining part on the receiving and easily. And it improves the communication efficiency, so we don't have to transmit 16 bytes of data. We just need to transmit 4 bytes of data, and it's enough uh, for the device to, for the client device or the master device to understand what type of service it is. So what are the custom services? The custom services are the services which are defined by us. Uh, they are not present in the SIG specifications. Since these services are custom, so their UUIDs need to be unique. We also have to make sure their UUIDs do not match with the standard service UUIDs. We will see later when we work on the custom services. We have to define a full 16 bytes UUID for these custom services and we can define all the required behaviors of our application through these custom services. For the custom services, uh, we define ourselves how many characteristics the service is going to hold. And that's it for the custom services and now we are going to uh, see on the website, we are going to download a standard, a standard service a specification. We are going to look at it and we are also going to see the 16-bit UUID numbers document uh, in order to see uh, what types of uh, UUIDs uh, are there and the standardized UUIDs and we are going to uh, assign these standard UUIDs to our services as well as characteristics. They are all mentioned in those documents and uh, now let's see that part. Okay, so here on the desktop we are just going to go into the Chrome browser and then we are going to go to this website. So here we, we can see we have uh, so many services like uh, battery service, BAS. From these services, we are just going to download the heart rate service. Uh, right now, I'm interested in this one, so I will just click on this. And once you click on this, you will download this. And after downloading it, I have already downloaded it. So I'm just going to see it in my downloads. So here is the HRS specifications. So before going to these HRS specifications, I have downloaded two other documents and these are really important. The first one is the appearance values in BLE. So this document is here and uh, I will put the link of uh, to download this document in the description of the video. So here we can see the appearance of the devices. 
So we have all of these appear appearance values and whatever appearance you are going to put, uh, the device is going to show this appearance in the advertisement packet. So you can uh, get this document. Uh, you, it's the link for this is in description. So make sure you select the appearance which is which best suits your device. If the appearance is not mentioned in these, then you just select the unknown appearance. The second document that I want to discuss about is the 16-bit Juju ID. And uh, since uh, today our topic is about the services and they have the Juju IDs. So there is this document and in this document we can see all of the 16-bit uh, UUIDs. These are the members of uh, the BLE organization, the SIG, and uh, they have their own specific IDs and you can find all of the IDs. You just search in the document. You just search here, for example, if I search Nordic and we can see here are the four entries so Nordic semiconductors uh, they have uh, uh, this standard allocated UUID and uh, we can uh, the Nordic's devices have these standardized UUIDs so these are going to be the standard UUIDs uh, for different uh, devices and after uh, a number of uh, UUIDs then the next IDs would be the characteristics type so for example there is a characteristic type of device name or appearance or all of these all of these standardized characteristics uh, would have a standardized UUID okay so we are just going to put this ID in our characteristic we are going to assign this address to the characteristic if uh, for example if our characteristic is heart rate measurement so that would be and this 2A37 would be the characteristics uh, UUID and it's going to be the address from where we can ac access that characteristic and we can uh, receive the data on our client device from the uh, server or the slave device after the characteristic would be the third one which is the services the standardized services and their UUIDs are also mentioned in this document for example if we see here uh, get service and here are all the services for heart rate we are going to set the service UUID to be 0x180d let me zoom in a bit so this would be the standardized heart rate UUID so there are so many UUIDs all of them are mentioned here so if you are uh, working on the standardized uh, services and uh, then you can use this document and it can help you out in uh, finding out the standardized uh, services UUIDs you have to put these UUIDs if you put any other UUIDs and they might collide with these and it might cause some errors in the end and maybe a failure in the communication uh, we don't need to concern ourselves too much with these UUIDs as all of these UUIDs are already present in the uh, SDK so they have all these values stored in these uh, predefined constants so uh, the SDK helps us a lot in this matter but if you are curious about finding out the services or the characteristics uh, UUIDs the standard ones then you can just watch this document it has everything in it so uh, I will put the link for this document as well in the description of this video so you can download everything I don't own these documents they belong to Bluetooth I will just uh, put them all, uh, put all of these documents together so you can just download them from, uh, through a single link now the final thing that we are going to see is the HRS specifications the heart rate service specifications so this is the heart rate service so it's similar uh, to the profile in some sense that uh, they have mentioned everything uh, the first thing that you need to see is the document terminology so shell should may can uh, you can see all of these uh, what do they mean if they write shell then it means the things of whatever they have mentioned are mandatory so you are not allowed to uh, exclude these uh, things in the the heart rate service so 
uh, we have uh, everything here mentioned about the service how we are going to declare the service what would be the service characteristics that is the thing that we are interested in so we will click on this and it shows that this service should have the heart rate measurement characteristic this is mandatory heart rate uh, measurement client uh, characteristic configuration descriptor we will see what are these cc cd and uh, we will see what are these in the next uh, tutorial we have to include them they are mandatory and then we have the body sensor location it's uh, optional we can include it or we don't need to and uh, c1 it's already mentioned here a heart rate control point and uh, if if the energy expended feature is supported by the device then uh, you can include this otherwise uh, then it's mandatory otherwise it's not mandatory it's just optional uh, it's, uh, you can just exclu exclude this so uh, there are other things that are mentioned here what are these characteristic and uh, what would be the properties of these characteristics uh, what would be the security level of these characteristic everything is mentioned in the heart rate service specification that's it for today i hope so you have learned something new today and if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments below and thank you very much for supporting me on the paypal and patreon i really appreciate your support and if you are directly landed, uh, landing on this tutorial just watch my previous tutorials to understand all the basic things about the ble and the basics about the advertisement as well i have explained everything in the previous tutorials Please be sure to subscribe my channel and share my channel uh, with other friends uh, so that they can, I can get more subscribers. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.